to do a little video uh, to introduce the floor design that I'm going to do and ha how I'm going to lay the floor. Um, I have started to work on the back and I'm, I'm going to do the, the lower part later on. Um, first of all I have squared off this slope here um, because I wanted it to be squared off because it's actually the perfect height for sitting on. We're not going to be having a rock and roll bed. Um, this is going to be our seat and it's going to be, the design is going to be uh, a mo modular design so I can have a little extension in the front here uh, of some sort where, so that we can sleep. This could end up being a full, a full size bed. Uh, but then this, whatever it's going to be, it, it could be, just be a table, it might be a box, but it's going to be able to be removed uh, so that this van can not only be a camper van but also um, a normal van for transporting things. Um, uh, so I just needed to square this off, this back part off. And I started off, what was the first thing I did? I think I started off, I'm using um, two by two wood because I don't think you need it to be any heavier than that. You don't want it to be too heavy. Apparently there are weight limits on vans, vehicles, so be careful how much wood you use in your conversion. Try to use the lightest uh, weight wood that you need. Uh, so, so two by one, uh, two by two, sorry. Uh, uh, I started off with this strip at the back. I got that nice and straight, even. And then I did these and finished off where the slope ends, that one as well. And then I fitted to, to these two, I fitted this one. And I made sure that it was completely equidistant on both sides and level. Um, luckily that was quite easy. But then once I'd fitted that one, gosh what did I do? <laughs> it's hard to remember. I think I fitted the one on the floor. So one parallel to that one, exactly the same length on the floor. I glued that to the floor and made sure that they were completely vertical that you know they, they would uh, create a vertical wall coming up and then i fitted the supports um and and then basically just filled in up oh, here um, left this empty because of course that has to be lifted up and that can just have um you know the board, a board on a hinge uh, with the, the sticks glued to the underneath of the hinge. Um, so I, put, I fitted that there, making sure that it was completely parallel. I think I then added these <laughs> and then this one, making sure it was parallel to that and then just filled it in, increased the number until I got to a point where I felt that uh, a thin board, quite thin board, would be strong enough, you know, I wouldn't put my foot through it. Um, and I used uh, no nails uh, to fit it. Um, and these are all going to have insulation, some kind of insulation material, I'm not too sure what. Um, I may just find some old carpet and cut up some old carpet. And uh, I will show you a little clip of the work without me being here in a, in a second. And I'll show you more of uh, how I'm going to do the, the, the rest of the floor in another video. Bye.